if you have this experience. Now, if you can inhale longer time and exhale shorter time, that means your kidney energy is strong. What is the main health benefits in practicing Sphinx Forest Qigong? Wow, there's many, 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 and I just can't count it. Say, like arthritis, people have uh, asthma, people have a congestion in the lungs of any kind, allergies, headaches, migraine headaches of any time, of course, stresses, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, and helping people with the tumors and of any kind, and diabetes, and so uh, injuries, and there's lots of, lots of things, you know, so Qigong can help. Now, why so? because Qi works with the intelligence. All these things, you name it, you just name it. And they are only the symptoms. They are the symptoms of energy blockages. Once you open up the energy blockages, all these symptoms go away. If you can exhale a long time, but when you inhale, you just take a, maybe two, three seconds, then that's it. But when you exhale, you can exhale five, ten seconds. When you inhale, only for a few seconds, much shorter than the time you exhale, that means you have uh, energy blockages in your kidneys, in your reproductive organs, or in your bone, bone marrow. Isn't that amazing? So that just through breathing, the rhythm of breathing, the length of the inhale and exhale, you are able to find out what's wrong in your body, in the major organs. So, now what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Try to make it longer, right? Try to open up the channels so that you are able to exhale or inhale longer at the same time. I mean, the same amount of time. So, now here, what you need to do? And uh, you need to tell the body the intent. I want to heal my kidneys. I want to heal my body completely. So you can take, for instance, if you have a kidney energy problems, you can uh, only inhale for, let's say, three seconds. And you exhale, you can exhale for six seconds. Now, after you tell your body you want to heal your body, this is what I want you to do. I want you to exhale first. Like you exhale six seconds and then you tell your kidneys and I want you to take the same amount of time as the exhale to inhale to help you to heal completely. So now let's do it together, right? So inhale, now close your eyes, focus on your lower dantian, inhale. Exhale. I want you to find out um, which one you can take longer uh, or deeper breath and then the, then, then the other one. I mean, between inhale and exhale. Now do it one more time. Inhale as much as you can. Exhale. Okay. So now you know, you, either you inhale or exhale a little bit longer of the time. So now, so I want you to focus on either inhale and exhale, which you can take a longer time to, to do. So now please begin. Okay, now you tell your body, I want Either the inhale or the exhale will take the same amount of time as what I just did. So now we do it again. Inhale and exhale. And inhale. and exhale. Isn't that mag magical? So when you continue to do this, to practice is slowly going deeper, focusing in, in your body, you are able to open up the channels 
in the body, open up the energy blockages in the body faster. You are able to balance the yin and yang energy in your system much faster. So we're going to talk about that just in a couple minutes about the yin and yang. All right. So uh, now here there's a little more techniques. I, I like to a, a, a little game. I like to play with you. So. Um, when you do healing, you always use the uh, yin and yang, left to right, good or not that good, or good or bad, all right? And with an uh, energy blockage, or no energy blockage say, in your body to help yourself to, uh, to balance. Um, now, so here, um, here it is a, a game I like to play with you. So now I want you to slowly turn your head Turn your head, you put your shoulders stationary. Turn your head to the left side and try to turn your head as far as you can and looking backward to over to your uh, left shoulder. And now you feel how your muscle feels in your neck, right? In your neck spine. And then slowly you turn your head to the right and look over your right shoulder and, and see how much you can see back over there and keep your shoulders stationary and breathe gently and all right so now turn your head back to the center so do you notice on one side of your shoulders the muscles are a little bit intense if you have that now which side you feel you have more uh, tightness. Remember that. And remember which side you feel much easier to turn your head. Now, you remember the good side, right? So now, so I want you to just suppose the left side is a little bit better than the right side, and or you have a blockages in the right shoulder, right neck, and so now you Slowly, you turn your head to the good side. And now you say in your mind, after you turn, you hold it there, and you say in your mind, my right shoulder, all the pain is gone, and the tightness completely goes away, and it is as good as my left shoulder. As soon as you finish that, and you turn your head to the right shoulder right away. Now you put your head back to the center. And now you move your shoulders and then you turn back and forth in between left and, left and right. Do you notice the tension in the right shoulder is much better or maybe completely go away. So this is the message, healing. You send a message to the right shoulder. You say, well, the normal feeling is, is like the feeling in the left shoulder. My friend, right shoulder, please take action and get yourself balanced. That's it. Then you take action and you move and you do these techniques anytime. So throughout the day for healing your left knee, your right knee, you know, so, or your uh, left back and your right back, and you can do the same thing, you know. So when you, when you have a, uh, 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 the pain in the right hip, right, and your left hip is doing pretty good, you know what, before you massage, you touch, you do healing on your right hip, you do some massage on your left hip first. Massage, do a little bit cupping, and feel how good you feel, and then you go to massage your right hip or send light, whatever techniques you use. This demonstration is about the power of your mind. This is a demonstration you can enjoy with your friends. It is also a powerful healing technique. Sit up straight. Place your hands on your lap facing down. Then turn your head slowly to the left. 
and see how far you can comfortably turn your neck, and notice specifically how far around to the left you can see. Make note of that. Feel how tight or how relaxed your muscles feel. Make note of that too. Then return your head to the center and start turning to the right as far as you can. Once again, see how relaxed or tight the muscles are, and see how far around to the right you can turn your head, and how far around to the right you can see. Again, make note of these things. One side will probably have felt more relaxed. You could turn your head farther to that side, see farther. This happens to just about everyone every day. One side becomes tighter than the other. So here is the energy technique: how you tapped into the power of your mind. Focus on the side that was better, the side that felt more relaxed, the side where you could turn your head farther and see more to that side. Close your eyes and turn your head again to that side. Now say in your mind, "My weaker side will be just like my stronger side." My weaker side is the same as my stronger side now. They are exactly the same. Both are strong, exactly the same. Now turn your head to the other side and notice how it feels. See how far you can see. It feels better now, more relaxed. You can see farther to this side now. Yes. That is the power of your mind, and you can apply this principle to everything in the body. To healing from injury, to relieving pain, anything. The more you practice this technique, the more effective you can be with it. There are four key energy points for detoxifying the body's energy. Two focus on the bladder channel, which begins just off the bridge of the nose. The two points you want to stimulate to activate the blood channels energy are located higher up, where the eyebrows begin, just off the bridge of the nose. This channel has more than three times as many points among the twelve major energy channels. This channel, the blood channel, goes back to the back of the head. Running down the outside along the spine, then out through the leg all the way down, and out through the little toe. This channel helps to collect all the junk stuff, or blockages, or energy garbage from the lungs, from the liver, from all of the major internal organs, and then releases it all out through the little toe. The second set of two points are on the cheekbones, directly below the center of the eyes. These points are where the stomach channel starts. Tapping or massaging these points can help you to take care of your runny nose or allergies. It also helps to open all the energy blockages in the front of the body, down through the chest, breast, to the lungs, the liver. From the thighs and way, way down to the second toe, releasing the energy out through the second toe. 